Miro tutorial for beginners master visual collaboration and brainstorming hey guys welcome to Miro tutorial in which i will be showing you how you can master your brainstorming with a visual collaboration platform so let's get into it first of all what you have to do is you can simply go to mural.co and you'll land on this website right here mural is a visual collaboration platform that gives your team an ai powered interactive space to align and execute your plans so in order to get started with mural what you have to do is you can click on sign up for free and you can sign up using your google account or your email address so after you sign up for mural this is where you will get as suggested by the name this is a platform that is completely uh you know visual and it allows you to kind of like create these visual projects that you can work on how to uh you know use mural so uh, first of all you will have to create a uh you know project or a page or a document so you can see this one i have created right here we can change the name and i'm going to change the name to test okay perfect uh, then we have here we have download mural publish or more options here you will be able to see the template option now the template allows you to choose from different templates that are already available and this way you will be able to save a lot more time and you will get the idea of how you can manage a workspace within mural so let's say that you actually want to use it for you know for your team and for your project so uh, let's go ahead and go to the this one we have a strategy and in here i can scroll down to find something that is going to be similar to what i'm looking for we can actually go to maybe plan and here we can see the action plan or weekly planner or we have to do list so i'm going to go ahead and preview the to do list and i'm going to click on use this template once i click on use this template now you'll be able to see that we have a to do list created and in this to-do list, we have on hold, we have to do in progress and done. And this is where I can now create more, you know, tasks and projects, and I can add the text as I like. So for example, here, I want to maybe add a text and we can select the format from here. So I have added a to-do list here. Uh, then we have the sticky notes, we have text, we have shapes and connectors, we have icons, images, mind maps, tables and areas, draw, uh, content library and import. So let's say within my work, I wanted to create a, you know, to-do list. So I have added this to-do list and now we're going to click on this plus button. And when, what I can do is I can maybe add like more, you know, rows and columns to it. Then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go down a little bit and after the to-do list, let's say that i want to add the text we're going to be adding a heading for the text and we're going to keep it here so working with with mural is so fun and it's so easy because you get this huge board to yourself that you can work on and you can like write and you can add tables you can do a lot more uh so here in the in the heading let's say i want to do some test video production that's what i'm going to write here so this is our heading and now with the heading i'm gonna keep it here now i'm gonna add a paragraph and let's say this is where i want to add some text about this you know project so we're just gonna go ahead and add the text so you can write whatever you want to blah 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 maybe i can say this is so once i have added this now i'm gonna take and keep it here now with this i can of course do a lot more we have lock menu we have make the text bigger or smaller we have make the text bolder and whatever you want to now basically do with your uh you know text you can do that and using uh, mural is so easy you can see right here i'm just gonna put it here similarly let's make this one bold as well or maybe we can change the color and now i'm gonna make it bolder and we can even make it a bit bigger as i like like so perfect so this is how you will add a text then we have a sticky note so i can add any type of sticky note to my mural so i'm going to add two of these and let's say that i want to keep it here i will be adding one sticky note here let's make it bigger maybe let's add one more sticky note let's make it bigger and put it here and then we're going to add another one now we can write anything on the, the sticky note, of course. So we can go ahead and add the text box. 
and we can add maybe like a paragraph and we can add maybe for this sticky note i'm gonna go ahead and add test sticky note and we're gonna make the text a bit bigger and we're gonna put it here so you can see this is how you will add it then we have i'm gonna scroll down to add more things for example shapes and uh, you know arrows so for example i wanted to add this one and we can connect different sticky notes or we can connect different ideas or comments very easily we can add different shapes to our uh you know this project so working with mural is so fun you can see i can add anything as i like then we even have the different icons so if you want to add different icons to um you know your project so you can do that and you can put them uh, anywhere you like so for example i can put some icons here on my sticky note then we have the image option where i can uh, you know get images from the library as well or i can uh, simply uh, you know upload or uh, my uh, images here then we have a mind map so let's go ahead and create a mind map with our mural so i'm gonna now go down here so for the mind map you can create different things so for example this is here and you can go here add more and we can add more and more similarly i can this time maybe go here go down so you can see this is what a mind map will look like and i can actually put it a bit down here perfect so you can see this is what the mind map will look like and now you can add the you know text here you can edit the text as i as you like so for example this was my videos and then we can add like video one and then we have different things so this way we can create a mind map and then we have tables and uh, areas so we can create a table so if i want to add a table to my mural i can do that here i can even add different titles here and put them here then we have draw so if you want to draw with mural you actually get the free will to uh, draw as well and then we have at the bottom we have the content library this is where i can upload all my content to work with and to avail it on my mural here so mural is actually a very good platform which is all in one which is note taking and for your to-do list and if you love working as a you know with these different options and to work freely then i think this platform is really good for you then we have the share option at the top if i click on share then I will be able to share my you know, project with anyone I want to. I can, add, can view or can edit. We can similarly copy the link or invite people to our project right here. So this way I can collaborate with my team and I can create a workspace that is completely virtual and that gives me the freedom to create my own creative workspace. So yeah, guys, this is how you will work with Mural. I hope this video was a big help to you. And now you know how to use Mural as a complete beginner. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel.